Yeah, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? We're back again. The, uh, the old dog, Diesel Riggs, <laughs> still climbing his way to the top. <laughs> One opponent by opponent. But uh, grab yourself a refreshment here. Slurp, get your posture up. We got another guest, too. Amari Sang Savannah. <laughs> Not Savannah. Sang Savannah. Sing Savannah. Sing Savannah. Who is 7 0, 135er. In the great state of Great Falls, Montana. But first, here we're going to do uh, prize picks. Prize picks is very simple, ladies and gentlemen. Go to the App Store, download prize picks. You can pick more or less on your favorite players NBA, NHL, UFC. It's available in a ton of states, plus Canada. It's a fun way to watch fights, too. You can pick more or less significant strikes, more or less takedowns. And it's a real just fun way to watch sports and an easy way to make a couple bucks. That's prize picks. Code TIMBO, all caps, T-I-M-B-O. Check it out. Riz Pharma. And Riz Pharma is a dedicated to making prescription medications affordable for everyone, particularly targeting the uninsured and the underinsured populations. Their program aims to alleviate the financial burden of medical costs by offering over 800 plus generic medications for free at a very low cost, utilizing strategic partnerships and bulk buying powder power. Riz Pharma emphasizes the importance of customer service, offering a team of experienced pharmacy professionals to assist customers with medication inquiries and education. This support system is a critical component of their mission to improve lives by making medications accessible and affordable. Check it out, rizpharma.com. The owner of that, John, he's a great guy. And we got Diesel Riggs here. Throw, throw that hat back on. <laughs> you want some advertising? Who, no, who is this? No, I mean, I want you to fix your hair. <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> is it bad? Is Hold it on, bad? Let me... All right, we got Amari. He is 135er, and he's 5'9". You're 7-0 and now? 7-0 and now. And you came from Oregon? Yeah, from Portland, Oregon. And where were you training when you were in Portland? So that's the thing. I actually wasn't training in Portland. I was just selling insurance. And did you wrestle there? I did. I did. I was a wrestler, so I had that going for me. Where did you wrestle? Yeah. So in high school, Century High School, and then I wrestled a year at NAIA for Warner Pacific College. And then after that, I walked on to Oregon State. I was there for about a year and a half, two years. Nice. Yeah. And then what made you move to the old Great Falls? Man, that's a long story. You want the long version or the short version? I prefer the shorter. Shorter version. Uh, Portland was not the best place to live. It's expensive. Tired of people shitting on the street. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. You ever been to Portland, Oregon? I actually lived there for a bit and trained there also. Okay, so uh, it's getting kind of crazy over there. And so we were just looking for someplace else. And then we landed on Great Falls, Montana. How did you land there? uh you long seen... story short friends got married in montana the I wedding just googled meth no <laughs> right just jokes. you know <laughs> your it, comments right. towards great falls are getting little i <laughs> love fucking great falls so. <laughs> i loved it too great falls was amazing but uh so we went to bozeman for a wedding we're like hey montana's pretty nice the friends who got married they lived in great falls now like, you should check out who great was falls. it this is my friend Aaron and Castle, they friends from there? college. No, they moved away. Are like you shitting me? Months. Yeah, a couple <laughs> months after we uh, moved there, they ended up moving away. He got a better job or something like that. But we stayed. Yeah. So That's you crazy. went to Great Falls and then Googled MMA near me and Joe popped up? A hundred percent. The wife was like getting crazy of having me around. She's like, you're getting weird. Like, you got to go do something. You're getting clingy. Yeah. yeah, it's like, go get out of the house. And so I literally Googled MMA gyms. Two popped up. Joe's was closer and I called. I was like, hey, I'm just looking for something to do. It's just like stay in shape, meet some people. And Joe is like, yeah, he are, are you looking to, to he fight? He to meet people. Not... Yeah. God damn it. Who is it? I'm going to answer it here. Okay. Yep. So then you Googled that. And how did you get your gym on Google? I don't remember. <laughs> How, uh, that was surprising how he oh, got it. It's it, fucking do that. It's hard. It, no, it's fucking. It takes some real thinking. There's some real fucking, some real planning out. Some fuck. It, it actually, it was, a, it was a feat for me. It, and then it you got it on there. Oh yeah, so. it's still on there. 
And then Joe said, do you, did, was it Joe who answered or Lisa? No. It was Joe. Was it really? It he was said, you. do you want to fight? Yeah, he said, well, are you like looking to fight? And I was like, well, I'm not really looking to fight. I, just I thought that was train. when you when you came in uh, to, to, me, uh, to the gym. When no, you first I remember in. the first time I heard the Joe mumble. It was over the phone. That motherfucker, yeah. you hear that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, uh, over, it's over, the, over the phone. It's even this, worse. this little weed will help it. So. Oh, sure. That's exactly <laughs> what it'll do. <laughs> That's just, it's a and translation. Then, and then you said not really looking to fight, went in there, and then you ended up talking to me. Was fu- I, I, his first day he came into the gym, I actually talked to him about moving to Phoenix one day. It just, uh, I mean, it's, I don't, I mean, I had a feeling when he came in, but yeah, he, he only trained, he only uh, been, was training for uh, not even like 16 months. Like that's always, been, how, how long? Have, so like, no more than that. Yeah. Uh, uh, so being a wrestler, I had a lot of guys like invite me to like UFC gym or their like local gyms over there in Portland. They'd be like, Hey, teach me a little wrestling and I'll teach you a little kickboxing. So like, that was my background. It was like kind of just hitting mitts, stuff like that. Yeah, team. he he uh, if, uh, fucking he's a, uh, you know people that they go in the gym and they, they train and, and they some people are better in the gym, some people are better in the fights. When the lights when when the lights go on when it's fight day, he fucking he shines. He fights way Shows better. Up. Fuck yeah, he's a he's a special fighter. I love it. So then you got your first fight out there in Great Falls. Yeah, so Joe, the way he got me take on, one, one. yeah, he 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 was having a promotion over there. I'll I'll take someone. You're done. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, hey, can I just throw your name on here to make the Constantly. card look a little bit full? And I was like, yeah, oh, you can throw my name on it. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and you just like, suck it of the tip of that. Wrap your whole mustache around Straight it. Straight to the, no, 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 no. <laughs> To the bean. Tuck the lips. Tuck the fucking pussy. You know, you know uh, um, when people hit, like, when you sharing a joint, how do you, you just suck it on that I just like curl that? my lips real in. So it's just, oh, really like... <laughs> it's, this guy showed me how, this, this finger. How, then it, it, you don't have to put your fucking mouth. Yeah. I know. For Joe just puts his lips on. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Wait, what's that fucking bald guy's? Uh, Schmitty. He yeah. puts his fucking lips. On oh yeah. Just ruined yep, it. Yep, He's yep, got to yep. share the love. You know? So then, so he, he actually, fu- so you were putting you on some, uh, you about. put, put on. Yeah, that, that's how every, everybody who I trained, I, I had a smoker that, cause there's no commission in great falls. So, uh, um, yeah, he fought there and then, then got him his next fight. And he turned his first pro fight was only d- this past uh, one year since this past December. So and he, he'd, he'd been putting in a lot of work. Damn. So you got seven fights in a year yes. and a half. So yeah. when I had that first one a year from there, I did six amateur fights. We were just knocking them out. And then December last year, I had my first pro fight and then we did six. He had a six fights. fight uh, in December, yeah. so it's been exactly one year since he turned pro. Yeah. So yeah, he's gotten he's he's putting in work. And you want to get a couple more? Or would you like to get on the contender series nowish? Man, I'd I'd like to get there nowish, but you know I also want to make sure that I'm ready. One thing about you know just started training at the lab was just trying to slow down and actually just make sure that my skills are there because like relatively I'm still new to the game. You know, there's still a lot for me to he learn. He almost he almost got uh because he, he he's he's a, it was a far better wrestler than the other guy. So I was I was telling him that put was him, this last Saturday. He, he like in the third round it was because every round was was close. It wasn't like a blood each round. It was just an action packed round. But he he won every round. But then like at the I kept telling him to take him down at the end of the round just to, to cinch the win. And he, I, you were waiting for that last the last ten seconds just to have a shootout. Was that what you were doing? Yeah, yeah, like round two. I was like last thirty seconds. I'll get the takedown. Hopefully that. No, no, the third way. round, the last one. I was, oh, I third was round yelling is right off the bat. Yeah, no, yeah, because I was yelling, take him down, and you. And, but in the last ten seconds, they just like a Max Holloway kind of thing, just stood there. Let him rip. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, now you're down here. I, gosh, I just feel like you're twenty seven. You haven't been in it that long. I feel like another six, seven months of training down here because getting to train with guys. That's what he's gonna do. Train with guys like Kyler, train with guys like Marcus, train with yeah. the, get it coming here and get some rounds with Shook, who's the best on the planet. Mm-hmm. That, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna benefit you just because since you're so new. Yeah, you know oh, yeah I mean? weight class. If, before not- you get that that chance in the big show, I almost think that would. Be I better. think I think uh, with another six months, uh, like four four months of, of training, because he uh, in the last round he uh, and kind of the second round, second round he when he took the guy down, mm-hmm. the guy had a good guard, uh, the, but he was playing around and he almost got caught in a triangle and armbar. Yeah, it yeah. was it was in his second fight with that fight in uh in, yeah there's i just Helena. have these moments i almost get caught I haven't gotten caught but i almost it's, get caught well, i'm, I'm trying out. to explain it with, with ground and pound he, he posh up and straightened one arm this is when helena and he kind of looked back and this guy the guy the guy swung around and just locked that armbar and fucking tight like i'm like oh no and then he, he warmed out of it that's yeah. probably he cranked that fucker. i mean it's dangerous too it's, it it's, is. A little smaller guys usually seem to have a little more dangerous guards in mma but then with those gloves you got those gloves on so you gotta Fuck. Be... I, yeah I, if you're not cheating i'm not trying i mean if i'm on my back I, i'm always hooking that bitch 
So. Yeah, that's why, I mean, you're just so good and powerful and your limbs aren't super long and stuff. They're super short. Plus you're super very aware on staying square with people's hips and then moving yeah. off guard and finding good spots to beat on them. I want him to, I, I want to, you know, teach him a lot of ground, uh, how the, you know, the details of ground and pound because his, his wrestling is like, he's athletic. He fucking cracks too. He gets hard for his uh -huh. size. And, and I want him to be okay with sitting in someone's guard and pecking away at him. You know? Yeah. Joe uh, swears by it. He says that's going to be what I'm known for. He told me like, I think like last week or a week or two ago, you're like, you're going to be known for well, ground probably and a year ago, but I mumbled. All of a sudden, I haven't, uh, <laughs> I haven't got to see you spar, but I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing you spar. And his last, I've been timid, his last man. round, his last rounds. Uh, who who would you who would you go with? Your last you round, great. Oh oh, like at the lab. Yeah, for your uh, last round, Abdul and Mario. Yeah, he, he fucking You're not gonna get better rounds. Yeah, he was Dude. he was doing doing really well. I mean, it's it's uh, I I wanted him to come here and start getting some training too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so, like unbelievable to me that I was able to just walk into that gym and then like guys like Mario and Marcus, they're just so open to just teaching me stuff and they're just super yeah. cool. That's guys. how fighters are. I mean, you rarely see a dickhead or, or, yeah. or a fighter that, you know, that's selfish and you know, they're, they're, everybody always, you know, help, likes to help each other and yeah. you know, things like that. Yeah, for sure. So before we started the pod, you were talking about uh, you had a burglar incident. No, no, not me. So it's uh, it's my my aunt was what had had been. Not, not there wasn't they weren't breaking in, but they were, someone was getting into her house and taking stuff every day. At the same time, someone went to work. I I went over there and I didn't. She has like a little hole in her door, like where people put the slot in for mail. Yeah. And I'm <clears throat> I'm but I didn't even I didn't even plan on doing this. I I didn't even know he was. That's how they were getting in because he's reaching through and trying to get the doorknob, and he had his hand reaching through and the, the little like a little aluminum bat picked it up and. Think. <laughs> he, he, he goes, squeal? He goes, yeah. I'm like, I mean, he, you know, when people yell and it's kind of like a head, they go, I go get him, and then, and then he's on the ground writhing, and I'm, and uh, I kind of go out see, and, and it's, 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 I think it broke both because it was, it was contorted and looking, uh, but yeah. And, and you yeah. open the door, fucking half stock. Said, <laughs> <laughs> you want some more, buddy? <laughs> Dick half hard. You like, you want that? The fuck? Yeah, it was, it was nice though. I did enjoy it. Oh, I bet. Because you could see his hand like feverishly, and I'm like, uh, uh, and fuck it, it was good. <laughs> Dude, something. There, there's been a couple people been stealing Amazon packages really? off my driveway. Really. Something about it just makes you. I don't fucking like thieves, fuming, man. Dude. I don't. Because I have you ever been robbed? Like anybody ever break into your house and rob your house? No. It's a fucking. It's a. It's a feeling that leaves you vulnerable. It's. A, I've had people. I, this motherfucker. I never told you this one story. So Elisa and I, the kids were. Jaden was just born, and uh, and we we go to Home Depot. We come back, and then I can see my my door is a little open. So I tell Elisa to stay in the in the car while I go in there. So right when and when you walk in. The like to the left is the is the staircase. I see a guy coming down the stairs, so and he sees me and the back door's open. He bolts for the back door, so he's he's robbing me. So I sprint. I'm I'm on his tail and he gets in the backyard. Duck footed sprinting at him. Fucking yeah, and, and <laughs> fucking uh, and uh, and <laughs> and so he gets up there. I grab his fucking shirt and he barely gets over the fucking fence. So I go inside. They they had like stuck a knife in my couch, ripped it, just tearing wow. the shit up, and. Uh, Stole, stole a bunch of shit. But it was a good, it was a real good time to, to do some insurance fraud on my part. <laughs> Did yeah. you end up making some serious bucks? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hey. No, no, I, no, I, I just, it's pretty much you get new, new things that have been stolen. Uh -huh. you know? but that, did you say I had a couple Rolexes right yeah, there? Yeah, I did. I did. No, they, they uh, I, of course, they want receipts. Those motherfuckers. So, so you can't really lie to it. No, it's, it's. They want receipts? Yeah, of course, yeah. Or you, you'd have everybody, I mean, because there's people out there that, that commit insurance fraud quite a bit. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I mean, I've done it quite a few times myself. <laughs> Man, the knife to the couch was actually yeah. Joe. Yeah, but I, I guarantee it was Joe, and they're throwing shit around. <laughs> yeah, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't stage one or two. I have this okay. with a fucking boot in the dishwasher. I, I remember what my truck got stolen. And uh, and uh, we come outside and I'm I look at I'm like God and Lisa goes what'd you do now <laughs> I, I didn't do it I don't I didn't do anything Lisa no I didn't but I but I have done that before <laughs> so but every time it happens I tell Lisa hey someone's gonna be coming over eight o'clock to drag that thing off. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. we were talking about it also well, I shouldn't I, have said that <laughs> oh, no 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 uh, I remember going on the Fight Master show with Joe and. We were roommates, so he'd sleep five five feet away from me. And when he'd go to the he snored, when he would go to take a piss, it would take him at least forty five minutes to an hour of him fucking trying to push out a little pee. It, it's, it's, it's on the fight master. I, I I would cut 
to 170, 171, and I would be 207. That's what I would weigh the next day, like 207 after the fight, right? Like after I would I would be after the fight I would be you'd be, you'd be over two hundred which is crazy because that's that's I mean I'm not and I'm, and I'm li- people I'm, do exaggerate about weight all the time mm-hmm. but this I've saw on, and the way, every week I mean it's I I, I started crying <laughs> I started crying Tim throw the throw, throw the towel from my head it's uh but anyways he would be crying and I'd be sitting him. there eating my pizza pocket because <laughs> I already <laughs> lost out <laughs> over there but uh so my prostate started to swell up. And uh, so, because I would go in the bathroom, I'd be, ah, ah, and it'd just drip. And, and were I, you just sitting there hunched on that oh, toilet? I wanted like, to start wailing on my dick. I, I was so angry with it. And obviously, it, it's 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 just a vessel, is what it is. It's, uh-huh. it's just, but it's <laughs> it's. I was I was really. It was the prostate. It was really prostate. So I went were to you the, having to go up the prostate massage or do anything? I that? didn't milk it. No, I didn't. But uh, but I, when I went to the hospital and they 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 cathed me, and that, oh, that was so embarrassing. Of course, it didn't woman, hurt. Oh, it hurt. It's like because because like I was telling your Mari, your urethra goes through your uh, your prostate. It not it, it was like a donut, and it goes through. And it's, it's just your... it's a it's a it's a small plastic. It's like your uh, uh, like your the uh... catheter. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's, it's like... not that thick though, is it? No, stretch your dick hole. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> like it it, it, when you uh, when when it when it's down when it's down your old shaft, your 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 dick's looking like something just crammed down Why throat. Does that seem like you get hurt so bad? Oh, it does. I mean, it's, it's, so then every night the 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 self cathing ones were a little better, you know. But I a couple times I had because uh, you you don't leave it in there because because uh, this is this isn't this is the self ones a little more hard. So I would slide it in while I'd go in the bathroom, try to pee. I'd be there for an hour sweating profusely, just fucking And the catheter just some. like more sucks it the pee out. You know, I don't really understand the science part. What I would probably equate it to is like uh when you're siphoning gas out of something when you when So you, you have the tube at the top of your butt. <laughs> I think I forgot about that part. Yeah, so I'm sucking on my own. <laughs> No <laughs> <laughs> but what I do do, so so it's only it's meant for just like like because these old people would just be taking a piss, they slide that thing down their dick hole and they piss through it. Um, but like when I would come back to bed because I'd be drinking so much, I I put some electric. I think you know it was a athletic tape on my dick and the fucking catheter, and it had it dripping into a fucking into a into a um, cup, or actually it was a towel. God. But yeah, it was it was bad. So fucking cath being cath is no fun, especially with a swollen prostate. I bet. Did you guys watch the Ryan Garcia fight? Or yeah, that, yeah, that was on Saturday, so you probably missed it. I no, missed no, no. I well, actually, I didn't watch. I watched the the, the next day. I watched the highlights it. and yeah. shit. Uh, it, dude, it was a sweet fight for lightweights okay, like that. And Devin Haney, he's not the type to knock people out, but it was an exciting fight. And Ryan Garcia is trying to say he's trying to say now that he was completely trolling because he, you know, he was going off the. I did to be honest with you. I don't know which. I don't know what the fuck's if he was or wasn't because even afterwards he was talking about the drugs he did and, and what he was doing. He said he was drinking. Uh, he said he was still what well, wasn't a lie. He was drinking alcohol during camp. But dude, if he was trolling, he did a goddamn good job because yeah. everyone wanted to watch because nah, nah, he's freaking. And the then fuck then out. then it ended like that. You know, you know, it was his right hand that was setting stuff up. He was getting doing with that right hand before that hook started touching him. A couple times he sniped sure. that right hand. Think. But uh, he said he bet $2 million on himself when he was a big underdog and won $12 million. To, uh, bet bet, it with bet on himself. Where at? The, like, like, a, like a personal bet or with the casino? Must have been with casino or something. But I don't... He, he strikes me as a lying motherfucker, though. I can see that, too. I can yeah. see that, too. Um, but also, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. He just literally trolled that well, went off the... If the, if he was trolling, he could be completely lying. Yeah, for sure. He could He could... He could realize what a kook he made himself look like and try to backpedal. I've done yeah, 100%. it. hundred percent. So, Joe, would you still consider yourself a religious fellow? Yes. Amari, how about you? Absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Me and Joe go to church together. I, I was actually telling Dude. Amari about my church. I'm like, hey, you got it. Then, then he went to a church on his own and going to my same church. We go to uh, the, the CCV. It's a, it's a fucking huge church. But, yeah, for sure. What made you ask that? What's going on? Uh, Not much. I was just curious. I'm always curious with that. With, with that. You are, you are for sure, and you're not. You're not the thing about you. You're not. You don't. You're not closed off to anything. You know. You always. You always listen to information. I mean, you, you got to be dumb if you think you absolutely know. No. Yeah. You. You do. I mean. You I mean, having, know. having, and being a Christian, having faith is one. But everybody, I don't care who the hell you are. You're. You have moments of. You know. Where you. Where so, you question things. It's, so do you guys find yourself in the corner like? Praying to God in your yeah, mind. Yeah, like right before Mari's fight, and I do it for my fights. Um, uh, I'll, you know, I'm not usually one saying the prayer. I want, I want somebody else to, but Mari, said, uh, Benson, John, and myself, and Mari, we all prayed for his fight. Prayed for what? 
I, I, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even listen to you. Heavy hands, <laughs> heavy feet. hands, and some fucking beat this kid. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never pray to win. I just pray to, to perform the best of my ability. Because if, if I did that, I'd beat anybody. You know, I. Just, I mean, praying to win, it's like okay. I, I know, you think God's sad. up there thinking, hmm. He's fucking, yeah. he's he's white. I'm gonna get him to yeah. win on here. Yeah, <laughs> you racist bastard. Yeah, it's, it's it's it's. But you know, I I don't. I, yeah, fuck. That just sounds bad when you when you're praying for yourself. You know, it's it's uh. Pray for maybe good health. Yeah, or... fuck God, make my dick hard tonight, please. God, I won't embarrass myself again. Yeah, I've I've been I've done that. No, no, <laughs> just kidding, Marty. No, I'm with you, Joe. I mean, I, I was basically praying that, like, I would, I would put on a performance that honors the work I've been putting in, that just honors the people that have supported me, just prepare for yeah. this fight. So I was like, as long as I go in and I represent that, like, win or lose, I'm satisfied. But that that's what, uh, the, when he, because uh, when, like, when Benson always does, a, does, a, does a, he always praise talks about you know so in my corner benson he does it so when when you like you know let's pray i was like benson like go ahead and do it and, and benson started to say mari's like bah, bah. i'm like oh i fucked that up <laughs> yeah you know, it, but yeah it's good i mean for sure whatever what, what rituals did you have before your fight you know anything spiritual or i mean nothing nothing really i was just like i just gotta trust my fucking training but mari you're right literally about fighting there's so much of the pressure is just you don't want to let your team down you, yeah, you have your coaches it. around you and your team who believe in you and you do not want to let that down that's one of the biggest fucking pressure that, that, that is and it's hard everybody says you can't let that go but it's hard to do that because like you know i i mean without without even him saying i know he was thinking didn't want to you know, because he's at no gym, didn't want leverage down, let me down. Because I mean, that doesn't matter at all. I wanted to tell you because everyone loses in the sport unless yeah. you're, you know, the very, very few. So, and there's so many ways to win the sport, so many ways to lose. So it's you know, when that happens, you know, you got to you got to take it the right way. I mean, winning, I mean, losing, taking that loss correctly is just as important as taking that win correctly. You know. Yeah, that's why it's most important. I mean, it most impressive to me these guys that have all these losses on the record and come back and win the title. Yeah, like, people sure. have no fucking don't, idea. I man. think I think the the days of uh, somebody having over thirty or forty fights is over. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Yeah, probably not. Like it's it's see it's it's getting you know fewer and fewer, but but you know with because there's nothing left. I mean, well, and guys are getting in the UFC a lot more, a lot a lot faster. Guys are a lot better. And then just back in the day, it's easier to get fights. Right now, it's this whole fucking thing to get a fight, even for my amateur guys. It's like such a pain. A lot yeah, of that back, is back because the where day, they're coming from, though. I think that's why a lot of guys play. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. think I know. I mean, I mean, back in the day, too, it's like, hey, the no commission. You want to fight this weekend? Boom. Hell yeah. You want to fight next week? Hell yeah. yeah you're when just you were getting young, in there getting experience. Th that's because like when, when I first met you, you're, how you looked at fighting and stuff was how you should, you know, and, and yeah, that, that's, not, that's not too prevalent to see. You, you, had a, you, had a, you didn't really put too much pressure on yourself, did you? Yeah, no, I, I, was, I was never in a fight that I didn't think I was going to win. In the locker room, I always thought I was going to win. So I thought when, that was when you, a good thing. That fight in Bellator, when you fought that one guy, when I, when I kept you up all night snoring that one night, one time, did, did you, were you having any mental laps for that fight? No, I thought it was going to be easy. But you, you, that, what, that guy was tough. What's that, what's that guy's name again? I think his name was Nick Barnes. He was 7-0. And, oh, and I had to No, 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 no. I'm talking about the, 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 when, when, you, when, when I cornered you for the Bellator show. Not, not, not Fight Master. It was well, after the Fight Master. Well, that was... Uh, what was his name? Derek... Derek something on uh, that. And that was when I had, got that bad concussion yep. six days before. Yes, you know, it was. Fucking crying. Couldn't remember who I was fighting. And then I remember I had to weigh 155 and I walk around. That sucked all the, all the shit out of your brain too. You and then, know. yeah. And then at midnight I was still pissing gold. Like they kept missing my, my vein for the IV and I'm sitting there just your, your crying on the toilet. Brain, <laughs> Is your brother doing it for you? Yeah. And it was just a, you, the, your bro. veins weren't coming out at all. That's why that fight. I'm like, I, n I never fight that way. I was bouncing around just trying not to get clubbed. I was. I, I mean, I, I that was a loaded question. I knew how you were feeling for that. I but I I didn't think because how you were feeling mentally. And that guy came on strong. He landed a big shot. I thought, it, it, it's uh, when he butt wobbled my knees. Yeah, and then uh, then he had that choke on you, and he fought that. Or you, you still, did he have that? Did he have a head and arm on you or no? Or am I am I just fucking? I don't even remember. Uh, but anyways, but you 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 you. Went to decision wasn't a beating at all, but with that concussion, not not being able to take a shot. Well, that's the problem with fighting when you need the money too. Oh. When you're a pro and you need the money, you're gonna get offers all the time. Hey, yep. you want to fight this uh, ten and zero guy? You want to fight this twelve and zero guy? You got a bad fucking injury. Your arms, goddamn, maybe you want to fight a torn, oh, completely had a torn bicep. It's like I can't pull out because I need the money. Did you fight when it was when it when you when it was that, bad? This left arm, the Ultimate Fighter. 
Was it? Was that really? Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's 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 true. I mean, it's if you can, if you this this is a I probably don't know if I should say this, but let it rip. It's okay, okay, that that guy um that guy Eric from from Fight TV he uh I met him years ago when he was he was sponsoring everybody in the, in the UFC he sponsored the UFC and uh, he was he was he was say he was trying to get uh it was trying to talk he was going to have like fighters be able to have mailbox money so they wouldn't be hurting for money all the time. Like pretty much had to be smart with the money, and he was gonna. Uh, the, I don't know. I don't know exactly what he was gonna do, but Dana made a comment like he want that he wants his, wants the fighters to be poor and not have money, so he could. And and so and again, I don't know if that's true or not, but that that does make sense. You, I mean, you want fighters to be broke and hungry, so they take whatever you give them. Yeah, as soon as they get an opportunity to make ten, twenty k, they're like, boom, they're jumping on it. They, they don't realize the paycheck. Yeah, that money. Like the if you make twenty grand, that that's like that's the last for sure. Oh God, yeah, you don't get anything. You start paying paying out, you fucking come home with a thousand dollars. So, have, has the insurance career been pretty good about supporting your life while you train? Yeah, it's cool because it's not really like a job in the first place. Like they'd never had me do like nine to five. I just kind of set my own schedule, and I've been doing it for a while, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Like just sitting down Is it on health Zoom insurance all day. It's all types. So I do like life insurance, auto, home. Will you sell me on some health insurance real quick? I don't do health insurance. I don't think just I could. Just give me a spiel. Give him a spiel on life insurance. Just say he's a guy that's teetering on the on the on the on choosing a, a policy or even oh, getting one period. Yeah. I was say on Tim. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Tim. Nice to meet you. Oh man, we're going right off the bat here. Right off the bat. Uh, if it was right off the bat, I'd say Tim. Who does your life insurance? I don't have no one. You don't have no no one that does your life insurance. No. Nope. All right. I mean, have you ever been? You ever like looked into Colonial it before? Penn. I've never really looked into it. Oh, okay. Cool. Really? Um. Well, don't know where to go from here, but if you feel like if you were to pass away right now and you're not leaving behind the legacy that you would want to leave, life insurance is a great way to just kind of fill that gap. It's almost like renting wealth. Like right now, I got a wife and a kid. I don't got million dollars in the bank yet, right? But until I get there, I'm just paying for a life insurance policy that says if anything happens to me, my family and kid are taken care of. Right How here. much uh, will that run me a month? It depends. It's based off of your age and your health. So the younger you are, the cheaper it is, and the healthier you are. Your, your chronic uh, cocaine be. habit doesn't help for sure. Yeah. yeah. That might be. Uh, yeah. It's... So that's another thing. A lot of people don't realize you got to qualify for health or life insurance. Your you can't drug just go testing. out and buy it. Yeah. So if they if I test positive for well, and, and and they they have they have clear view of your of whatever you get in the pharmacy right yeah, yeah. like like health records yeah stuff so like so that. if you're a, a guy getting addicted to a bunch of painkillers you know because I've I've been turned down for policies when I was younger for sure so they'll turn you down oh yeah they say, okay they I, see all your surgeries they see your this, when I was younger, when I first got my policy, fucking they. You're high then. I was yeah, you fucking asshole. <laughs> the eyes heal. Don't you? The uh, eyes heal. Is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's never going to be healed. It's not near as bad as. It <laughs> no, you just, it, it, Mar, do you ever notice my eye? No. Thank you. I don't know what you guys are talking. Sometimes about. when you my get eye. too high, it starts <laughs> really going away. <laughs> my uh, when uh, I was it was uh, so my, I hurt my eye before the like right before the fight master, but I got. Kicked in and broke my 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 nose, my uh, my floor, my the floor of my sinus cavity, my orbital, and then the the of course the surgeon butchered me, and then I, it was just floating around. Fucking, it was bad. Like Lisa's yelling at me. I'm looking oh at her. My. She's like, "Look at me!" <laughs> it's, it was bad, but I got that fixed. And yeah, but it's. Can you see out of both good? No, it's so I'm. I'm, I'm what's a, what's above 2020 on your vision? Is there is there something like better than 2020? Yeah, there's something more. 2019, 20. I think it's like how many? Are you like, making that up? No, I, no, I, really. Yeah, Tim. I don't know if you know. So, know. but anyways, I because I I I have to wear glasses. They they want me to fucking wear wear just like normal normal like see through stuff on my left side and then a prescription on my right. Fucking, I was wear a fucking monocle or something. I'm not gonna do that to myself. But anyways, yeah, it's so so it, it does. It is. It's not too good seeing out the son of a bitch. I think you could make the monocle. God damn it! I knew you were gonna just really just back. finish running my dick in the dirt. <laughs> so this is a this is a all. All, I, we got a bunch of fucking Patreon questions here, and we'll rapid fire them here in a bit. But these are some interesting things that popped up. This uh, website, allthatsinteresting.com, female teacher, 28, who raped a male student at 15, oh, is heard. ordered to pay $1 million to the family. <laughs> She'll Th fall bankruptcy. think that's fair? Huh? You think that's fair? Uh, uh, a, a teacher abused yes. her position of trust and authority to sexually violate a young man who will face the emotional effects. How old was he again? 15. Yeah. Um, she had resigned from her position at Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, you know what? I was just 
TikTok the other day was was uh, if they were going about how many female teachers have been uh, <clears throat> been caught butt fucking students, and uh, and and it was well, a lot. Getting, not not butt, just fucking. Butt, butt fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there was a lot, a lot of a lot of female students, kids that kids that were in high school and grade school uh, that were and they and they get a slap on the wrist compared to mm. some old John with a hairy root. You know. He, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so so I mean, if uh, if I mean, I I I, I, I teacher got in trouble when I was younger trying to trying to pump on me. Trying to jack <clears> your <throat> yep. little, little thing. No, it wasn't. I swear to God, I swear. And you didn't let her. No, no. I, What'd I, you say? Don't uh, touch that hard thing. Get off my hard dick. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, so I, I was going to like an anger management class. I can't believe I told you. Uh, but uh, I, I was going to like an anger management. And she, like at first, so she was like kind of a therapist. At first, she, so she just started letting me swear. I was in fourth grade. Like, and, fuck? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I would I'd say, yeah, like, fuck or shit. And then so, I mean, I probably wasn't sound like an idiot. But then, so then she started started talking about things at home with her husband and how... I had no idea what the fuck. And you're just a little teeny bopper. Yeah, and then she asked me if I if I was a virgin, and then I was and then or she asked me if I had sex. One of the I don't but I but I told her I had fucking of course I hadn't, and then we, uh, this was like. And you're a bigger diesel up kid. I was right? I was only in fourth grade. I mean, I don't even know how fourth? big. Fourth. Yeah, fourth grade. So that means you're eleven or something like that. How old is it? So any, but I was so th it was going on for weeks. And you remember those doors that had like a small slit in them, like the window the window was like a small. One of those vertical those slit. Glory holes. Was I really? I had been older than that. Fourth, I remember. Maybe, maybe hard, little, little may, no, but fuck, but that, you know, because that makes her sound like a monster, and she wasn't. Yeah. Monster. Okay, so we'll, we'll let's just up this story to fifteen. Okay, so, so what? However old, so it went 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 by for for a certain amount of time. Then the last, I saw her once to maybe twice a week. And then we had planned the next time. And could you tell every time you'd meet up with her for? Because that was like an after school little program. No, right? it was during. It was like uh, it was like at the end of the day. And and she had so she started kind of running her husband down. They weren't sleeping in the same bed. He wasn't uh -huh. saying he wasn't fucking. Her. I had no idea what the fuck she was talking about. I mean, I don't remember every little thing. But then but somebody, you wouldn't look at her and get horned up at all. No, oh yeah, I, I'm a jerk. Was jerk. I went in the bathroom and jerked off over. Thinking about it. Yeah, fucking. Uh, what was her name? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, her first name, I don't, her last name was Mrs. Mrs. Voluntary. That's what it was. <laughs> what a last name for the yeah, occasion yeah, yeah. there. It, it, I know for sure okay. I might pronounce it right. <laughs> but, okay, but and then how did it, how did the... Christian, uh, that's her name. But, um, how did the... Uh, so I was, I was bragging to my friends, like, I like said, no, because we were going to, she started saying, uh, just that we were going to meet and do that like, the next week, and I was telling all my friends and stuff, and then I told my brothers... And my brothers told my dad. My dad went to the school. Well, what did you tell your brothers? That, hey, she's the, trying to. S well, she was going to suck me off. We, she, <laughs> no, she was. So we have. We, she was going to suck me off on on whatever the day I was going to see her next time. And you. And so I'm like, yeah. And so and and so I was telling. Fourth. Years old. No, we're fifteen. Th we'll go fifteen. It, it, now I think about because it, it, it was after my parents got divorced. But they got divorced in fifth grade. I think it was in fifth or sixth grade. And, and you were uh, about to get a little <clears throat> sucking. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and so. So I, my brothers told my dad. My dad told my mom, and then my mom. And that, I mean, I remember they were divorced. So my mom was like, "You, you're gonna ruin her life," because my dad went to the, the school and told told the principal, and they were Go so. Have a puff of that and all they that. were. Uh, well, it, it, <laughs> what the fuck is that? <sighs> that I think it's closed. Twist the. Uh, oh yeah. The ah! <laughs> nice. Jam that's vindication. What in God's name. The right below the nozzle. The I think fuck there's an you orange, do? There's like an orange circular. Is that? Oh, is it you? Did you close that there? I think I closed it before I tossed it back. So, so but it, so my so they 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 did a thing where they were they they put in certain things where they were going to listen to her and stuff, and uh, I guess she was doing it for the couple students. So want to suck them? Yeah, yeah. But they 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 were they were like they were like in eighth grade and they were older than me, and I was I was uh but yeah I told everybody she 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 got. My mom was like, "You're lying." Was telling me I was lying, and I was. You know, what did you say back to your mom? Fuck no, I'm not. I just I don't know. <laughs> but she, yeah. Fuck I, no, I, I'm <laughs> she's sucking me up, mom. Like I, 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 I would have been terrified if I went there. Come on, you want this? Oh. <laughs> so were you really? traumatized though? No, I mean. but I, but when because I didn't expect this huge fucking this huge fiasco at school. Obviously, I, I should have, but. 
No, I, I mean, she's fucking just dragging. I see, I, I see her cuffed and st- stuffed at the, at the oh, school. Wishing uh, you would have got fucking stuck on a bit. I, I'm sure I would have fucking ran out of it. That's a bit <laughs> Oh, fucking. What kind of a crazy bitch does that, though? I don't know. Because well, obviously they, they, I had no idea what I was talking about. Who knows? They probably got uh, sexually messed with when they were younger. Mm. Probably hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. yeah. That's a fucking truth. <laughs> but that's, I mean, she probably, I mean, it's, but she's, I remember she was super flat chest and that bothered me because <laughs> I've always been fat a fan of or... tits. I don't remember that. Um, Big tits will come up for a whole lot of ugly. I'll tell you that. This, uh, this question, question here, what was Joe Riggs' uh, virginity story? Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Do you remember that, Claire? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, remember Joe I told you? Barry. I'm good. Can I use the restroom real quick? Yeah, yeah. It's right around the corner of the left. Your prostate yeah, puffing buttons. up on you? Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, you, you remember your me? catheter? <laughs> I got one in the back pocket. Catheter to it, go. It unfolds out like a lawn chair. <laughs> um, but, uh, remember I, the only other girlfriend I ever had? She was murdered. Remember me telling me about that? Yes. So I lost my virginity to her. And, she uh, was, how hmm? was she murdered again? I completely forgot about that. Tied up, arm tortured and choked. Just, f- and that was out of nowhere? Uh, she, f- like, so when... We were like, I, I dated him when I was a kid, and, and then through high school before before I started dating Lisa, but then she she had, I remember me me, me and Lisa were at home watching TV, and and she comes on the news, and it's oh like it's like the Brady Bunch, it, it was it was a money laundering scheme, and it's just she's the only white white person in the crowd, like right in the middle of it, and she's just standing there, and I'm like, oh, holy shit! So then. She didn't even. It, so it was. It was like a. It, it was. The, she stuck out because she looked like a, she's the only girl. It was just. It looked terrible. But she. Uh, they said. They said that. Uh, like she didn't get any any trouble. But my one of my closest friends, Darren, who, who passed away, his dad was the assistant chief for Phoenix. So he's giving me all these inside things about what what she was doing. So she she rolled over on somebody and and that's what they had thought. That she, that's what we had thought that they had murdered her. So they. Oh, thought, she told on somebody. Yeah, that's the only reason she wouldn't. Only way she could have got away without doing any kind of prison time. But she, uh, when some someone was going going over there to check on her, and they looked at the window and they saw she was face down on the ground, with hogtied, and uh, they had broke her arms, broke her broke her legs, and then uh, then choked her and con- choked, choked her to death. Jesus and her God. friend was there who was pregnant that was choked to death and killed. Oh. But the uh, and her name was Nicole Glass. So you guys can look it up if you want. But but what happened is uh, the person that killed her was the uh, the they just found this out. The person that killed her was that was that gr- was that it was that. So they they tortured Nicole to make it look like it was about her. Like it was like, so people were coming after her for something that she did personal, and then kind of went only choked the pregnant girl, didn't torture. Her. But so it was her boyfriend, or fiance, that girl that was pregnant, that did it. And then. What age were you when you lost your virginity? Fourteen. I was four. It was the day before I went to high school. And how did that come about? Was uh, that just like did well, so, you knew so, we were going to do some so, fucking? Yeah. So when when Nicole Nicole she she was was always talking me into it. And I was afraid. And then uh, I remember she took petroleum gel. Yeah, and it started. I pumped three times, drag it out, rub, I'd make sure because I didn't have it, she didn't have a condom. So I'd, I'd pump two times. I'd take a, some wipe, wipe my dick head off so I didn't, didn't get her pregnant. Again. Oh, it, it was about six pumps before I was like, yeah. I went home and cried to my mom. Yeah, fam- it was fucking family's hoping. So you you busted, you did a couple pumps and pulled yeah, out. But, or... Yeah, but I, I was so upset afterwards. I, I went home and told my mom's crying because you felt bad about fucking. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it was, I, I was I, I was I was deflowered. It was bad. It was mm-hmm. <laughs> it was bad. How about you? What'd you do? I was just, I was with some girl and me and my buddy had another, he had his, her friend and I went to finger her big old bush. Oh. And then, uh, she says, I don't want to do that elementary shit. And then handed me a condom. Fuck me. Really? Yeah. Shit, how old were you? 14. Well, she said brother we're in arms. high school now. And I, yeah, we're in high school now. The real <laughs> shit. And then I called Isn't her. That what you said, as you said, when you sent me that picture of brother in arms. <laughs> no, but I called her after. I was like, "So what are we now?" Because I was so positive I was going to be with the girl that I lose. I love you. To. And she's like, "We're better as just friends." I'm like, "She goes, she, you can't fuck with the shit." Red. And I just crumpled to the ground. Oh, <laughs> the dude, tell a Looking story about you in the bathtub. No, Come no, on, no. you leave names out. That's hilarious. No, no, no. Come no. On, just, I've said it too many times. No, you've said on you've said it on your podcast. I mean, a while ago. Pull it out, dude. There's that's fucking what, Amar. You'll love this story. I'm ready. I thought, well, I just went over to this girl's house. She was babysitting for this, <laughs> this family. All the kids were, were in bed and we're downstairs. So I go downstairs, hang out with her. We're making out. I'm like, Hey, I should probably go. She's like, no, you're good to stay. Fucking 10 minutes later, the 
she said, if someone comes, there's a window out that back room. If somebody comes, you can just jump out the window. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm fucking horned up. And, uh, literally 10 minutes later, the, the mom and dad walk in, boom, 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 boom. Start walking in. She's like, okay, you'll go. She runs, scurries upstairs. She's like, hi. And then I hear them say, well, wow, she kind of left awkwardly. And I go and look at Oh the, yeah. So it wasn't even her house. Was no, it? it was like some rich lo- lawyer's better. house. And now I'm downstairs Alone. with her kids that are asleep. And the parents are upstairs. I scurry back to that room, look at that window, and it's got a cover over it, and it's probably fucking tiny. <laughs> I'm like, I could try to tear through no. there like a fucking tornado <laughs> or be tactical about this. So I looked in this closet, and I was like, no, I'm not going to hide in there. Went in the bathroom, shut the curtain, laid in the bathtub, <laughs> very- laid down there for a while. Too. How long? That's so hard to say. It had to be 30 minutes. Oh, just writhing, just throwing just it over Just sitting down there, and I'm hearing them talking, and I hear those... The, the guy come downstairs, doop, 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 doop. <laughs> goes in that closet I thought about hiding in. A couple minutes later, he's cussing out his wife, some shit. And he walks it walks in the bathroom, and he's pissing. And I'm in this bathtub, and he's pissing right <laughs> by my head. And I'm stiffened up. And then he fucking rips that curtain open. And he just, his arms go up like he saw a fucking bear, dude. Ah! Little fucking pecker hanging out, and he sprints <laughs> out of there, and he's like, "Honey, there's a man in our house. He's red haired." Yeah. And I'm like, "I'm fucking so sorry. I was here with Shelby." And he comes back with the bat, and he's got it fucking oh, revved man. up. And then his wife came down. And she's like, "Ah, oh, I feel bad for him." And I'm like, "No, I'm so sorry. I was here with God. Shelby." And then they walked me out. But my plan was, I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna maybe fall asleep, and then when it's late, just bolt out the front door. God, uh, that could end it bad if for, if for sure if i get if you tell me that i 1000 percent would have attacked him yeah and that guy scurried like he was yeah fucking, just like so it was it was just you two in the bathroom by yourself yep so, and he he's was downstairs I, peeing, oh, and i'm right see, there think, yeah that, see, that would have been scary yeah i would have attacked because then you were like oh, hold on you 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 saying that like that that's yeah. that, 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 that was hopefully your if you saw me though you'd hit me once or twice and see that i was like no kid. no if i was you like if i was your age in, in high school i would attack the man I was I was scared too. Yeah, I, I was like, I bet they're so scared. Yeah, first it was. It's like a fight or flight. I would be like, oh god, I gotta get him. Yeah, well, like, he didn't come in range. Or I would have <laughs> put him down. <laughs> you would have engaged if need be. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, that could end bad though. Fuck yeah, dude. Supposedly he's a real light sleeper. They got he security could, he could system. He could have shot you, and you yeah. wouldn't have gotten in trouble, man, for sure. There's some people that look forward to things like that. Yeah. But that I could I would fucking the thought of you in the bathtub. <laughs> I would love to put so many other people in that exact scenario and see what they do. I dude, that just <laughs> just sitting there, I, I couldn't imagine you probably was going you went, "Oh god, no." And, well, everyone's like, "You should have just went up there and said, "Hey, I'm here. Uh I was with Shelby." But yeah, I'm anybody like, yeah, could I say was that. wanting to pump on her puss. I was wanting her. Yeah. Yeah, so what did she say? Did you ever get to get to pump on her or no? I went over there and I got I'm like I got out safe and I just kissed her and then I never did. Fucking oh, piss, all man. that shit for nothing? Yeah. Coward. Imagine you're taking a piss in your house, though. Exactly. You open the curtain. I would, yeah, but uh, again, if, if he was a scared kid, I, would, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't hurt him. Maybe a couple, no, couple if, fucking cause, juicers. Because <laughs> you, you, you uh, especially like when you were, like when, when, when I first met I was you, probably you, a, like you, I was probably a senior in high school. And you probably looked like you were 15 then. Cause you, you I'm looked, still big, though. You, uh, yeah, you, but you were, were, you, were, you, were you, did you stand up in the tub at that point? Were you on your back? No, as soon as he opened it, I got up quick to scurry. <laughs> were you naked? No, I wasn't naked. <laughs> I, I wasn't. He was naked, but. He was naked? Yes, he was taking a piss. Just... What the, f- so he had his dick out or he was naked? Yes. Did, I don't, I didn't know Tiny this. Tiny little dick and he just. Yeah, hold on. Your dick's so small. What's he, going he on He was here? a smaller fella, so I was like. I... Dude, that is hilarious. I didn't feel like it went by so slow. Oh God! I was like, I can't believe that fucking happened. I'm thankfully he found me though. If he wouldn't have found me, and he said he told Shelby later on the reason he ripped the curtain over is because the toilet or the carpet from the toilet was folded over. Oh wow! So, so he, that made him think someone was in the bath. Bathroom? Yeah, he must have just sensed it or heard me going <laughs> <laughs> nasally. <laughs> Oh god! And he hears you going. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh god! Okay, let's rip through some of these questions here. What do you think the chances of Alex Pajara moving up and potentially fighting John Jones is? I think good. Fucking that would be a huge fucking fight. He, did, like, he was he was on the jumped on the scale two thirty. He's still lean. Yeah, but I think John Jones, dude. I think John Jones would get on top of him. Fuck, John Jones is, would, would would that's just styles make fights that he would make he would make Alex look bad. I mean, there's definitely 
obviously a possibility he a puncher's chance. It's but a fight. But yeah. John Jones is so athletic. As soon as he gets a hold of your leg, now you're dealing with a real black belt. Fuck yeah. And a real athletic black belt's gonna get on top of you and simple get ups aren't gonna work Dude, on Dude, his Jones. body style, I trained with him when when he first started, didn't know shit really. And he his just gangly body on top of you is just Athletic. Yeah, fu- yo, yeah, he know he know he knows he's very he's very acute to where you, what your body's trying to do and he's just like a blanket, man. I couldn't I mean getting that and now how how good he is. Yeah. He's n- would never even c- come close to even getting up. Be a sick fight though, I'd love Fuck to see. Yeah. Who was Joe Riggs' favorite opponent <clears throat> and why? What do you mean? Like, who did you love beating up? Oh, okay. Um, the dude who came in your gym and wanted to bare knuckle box. <laughs> I felt bad. For, um, drunk? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, he, he wasn't drunk. It fucking, he was like, you about the guy who came into the gym? No, he, it, it had been like the sixth time he came in there talking about. Just a tweaker. He, and not, no, he he wasn't dressed. You know, he had like a he had a like a Belgian Malamute dog that's like a four thousand dollar dog. And he wanted to bare knuckle you. He he had talked. He had he told me he had like two hundred amateur fights in bo- boxing, and then he he said he said he wanted to spar me bare knuckle. And and the second third time saying it, and I'm like, no, you don't spar bare knuckle. And then he at least is like, hey, you need to pay dues to leave. And then he t- said like, shut the fuck up or something. And that's so I was like, yeah. And then what'd you do? You've you've seen the it's on YouTube. I mean, I when I realized that he knows nothing, I mean, I I cracked him a couple times, knocked him down, but I didn't. I I, I really did you really, get him on the ground at all? No, it was just all all boxing. Yeah, <laughs> fight like a man. Yeah, <laughs> put your hands up, retard. You know that everybody's like you beat up a retarded guy. I'm like, no, he fucking's not retarded. And then uh, Chael was the only Chael, Chael was, was smart. He did something on it. Was explaining how many times he saw. High level pros just fucking almost get off when some gimp comes in, knuckles up with them. They just, huh, I mean, just, that's everyone's hope. They some guy rolls in the dojo. And it is. I mean, tune but he knew so like I off his first step. I'm like, oh, he knows. And then I, so I mean, I, I, I cracked, cracked him. I never hit him too hard. I mean, busted his face up. But, but I, but there was a guy. It probably really actually and really taught him a lesson. He actually he signed up learned, after that. Did he really? Yeah. And then I made him admit he's never fought a day in his life. I admit it. Brought him in your office. <laughs> yeah, slapped him around. <laughs> All right, motherfucker, you sign this. No, I, I, it was I, I, I had it. You like, you've never fought anybody. You've never put on a pair of gloves. I'm like, just say it. <laughs> I, I was, I was petty, but yeah, he, he signed up for a month and hit the bricks. That was day two at yeah. the gym for me. By the he way, he was like, so what I'm the like, fuck is? This guy's crazy, bro. Because Lisa was telling me he was like signing a waiver or something. And Lisa, it's not the first time I've done it. Lisa's seen me do it many times. Come over here, sign this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Lee, I, the first time it happened, I was it was at uh, the, my gym and uh, surprise, this big guy came in. He was like just being disrespectful. He was he was a big dude, and I fuck I he was on the ground. He after I was cracking him, he was like he was like I'm done. And it, but it wasn't anticlimactic. So I mean, it was it was anticlimactic. So I was huh, dropped like four or five and put him out. He's oh. he's going, uh, and then Lisa's like, "You've done it now. You're getting." She thought well, I was gonna get in trouble. I made him sign a waiver all that stuff first. Yeah, I've only had one guy show up at the other dojo. He was messaging me, calling me a huge pussy. I think I saw he's that. Like, I'll fuck sugar up. Just and he was a weird. guy. I'm like, come to the gym five thirty. And then right when he came out, I said, "Hey, brother, welcome in. Here, come sign this waiver here." Do 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 do. All right, guys, we're going live. <laughs> it- Went live, and he was just some people are like, man, he liked that the way he was smiling when I was choking his face because I grabbed his hair back and pulled it back. <laughs> I see it, yeah. And uh, he was like smiling, but he was like smiling because he was in shock. And he got <laughs> home later. He's like, who said he liked? Just that? wait for this lawsuit. Because my trachea has been sore for weeks. You went super light on too. I mean, yeah. you were trying to mock him, but but you weren't. You weren't. But still, make him feel. You it cupped a his mouth bit. a couple times, right? I don't know if I cupped his mouth. Yeah, you did. I mean, I wouldn't want to put my hand near that nasty <laughs> fucking mouth. I, th- I, th- I think the, the emotions got the best of you. No. <laughs> I think you did. Um, okay, so other than that, okay, how about this one? Ask Joe about him saying he'd chop his penis, penis off if Connor beat Aljo. That never Al- happened. Aldo. I don't know why people keep saying that. Aldo. Maybe it's because the video that I saw. I don't even remember. I don't remember doing that video at all. Somebody's like, dude, you said you're going to cut your dick off. I'm like, how fucking dare you? <laughs> And Bro, I, looked at I said it. that too. I'm like, I said, I'm like, there's no fuck. I, I didn't say no way Connor couldn't win, but I'm like, in the first round, there's no way he's going to knock out Aldo. The, the person now, that I'll never me. say that again. No, dude. Just like you did against Gaethje uh, Holloway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was the question that guy said? He asked, asked if I remembered. Asked him about saying he'd chop his penis off. Yeah. 
What about saying, do I remember it was a shameful? Yes. You say that a lot, Joe. Hanging out with you, that is something you drop you know, a lot. It's like, I will my, chop off my left nut. I will chop off well, my I'm, dick. I'm talking... I'm just talking yeah. about sac <laughs> sacrificing something mean. Put those glasses back on. Yeah. <laughs> just jokes. Just jokes. No, just jokes. 100%. Bloody dick. <laughs> okay, this one. Is anybody else fucking hot? I'm fucking sweating like a fucking. It's, it's, uh, it's not hot. Oh, fucking. Hell. Are you hot? You're just in the hot seat. These questions Fuck are you. joke questions. The, yeah, okay. the lights are starting to come down on me. This one's for Riggs, okay? Would you rather. Okay, would you rather fuck a goat and no one know about it or everyone knows you as a goat fucker but you didn't actually do it? <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> okay, this one's for Riggs here. Would you rather fuck a goat mm -hmm. and no one know about it or everyone knows you as a goat fucker but you never fucked a goat? I'd rather fuck a goat and no one know about it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was I, I I know within myself. If if it depends who knew. If just if, if my wife was like, You fuck this goat, I know what you did. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Any okay, there's another one. Any tips on how to stop being in your head in social settings and more and be more present and involved? Some people are hard about that. Joe, you're one of them, but you're getting better. Yeah, get in a social I, setting I, and you I, start I, screwing I, around. I keep almost putting. I can, and Mari's fine this weekend. I was yeah. fucking. I have an anxiety attack. I just keep putting myself in uncomfortable situations to make it easier. So you keep trying to do it. Yep, that's good. It's the only way. The only way you can get better. And I mean, you're such a. I mean, you have so many life experiences. You're gonna have a lot of co in common with everyone. For sure. I never. I never have a hard time getting along with people. I don't know what the fuck it is. I think it's. Uh, yeah. I just. I. I start people. It's. It's just like when. If like right now I don't have that, I think it's when it gets because in Amari's locker room there's probably like ten people and they're pretty close, and I didn't know all of them super well. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that's all it is. I'm just I overthink everything. How about you, Amari? Are you pretty uh, social when you're getting in? I can be. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as like the answer to that question, I found because I used to have a lot of social anxiety back in high school. I would just always like look down at the ground. I didn't want to make eye contact with anybody, and so what I found. Is selling insurance helped out? So that's basically oh, yeah. what you said. You know, just put yourself in those social positions. Just know, like, if you're worried about, like, a conversation running dry, like, just know that that happens. Don't avoid it. You know, don't let that stop you from talking to people. Yeah. So, yeah, exposure. But then listening is big. That that helped me out a lot. You know, two eyes, one point. mouth for a reason, that's right? A if you point. just, like, listen to what the people and actually listen to understand, I mean, stuff for you to reply with will come up. Yeah. Or they'll just keep on talking. That's a, you good, learn a lot. good point. And, and even if you have something in common with someone, like they say, hey, I did this, not jumping in right away. Well, I did the two. I, no, I did that too. The just, like, just let them talk a little bit. It's okay. And then maybe later they can find out you're in that too. Like, yeah, I, I, have a, that's, I have a hard fucking, I, you might know I, I do, so I interrupt people. I, I'll, my, daughter, my daughter wrote a list out of things that, that she wants me to work on. One was interrupting her. Podcasting can definitely help. Well, just fucking... Just talking to people, like I, I could say, just sitting, shut the fuck up, being a good listener, and, and just responding to what they say. Not always. I mean, the people that go that when you're talking about a fight, I was world champion. You know, I hate those. I can't stand that. Yeah, it's like all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, uh, next one here. Lose your dominant arm at the shoulder. So a full, full ass arm up here, or let everyone within twenty yards of you read your mind at all times. Fuck, guy, who's coming up with these? This is another. I mean, I'm snipping the shoulder. You're that dark, huh? <laughs> and you are too. <laughs> I, I read your mind. Yeah, I'd probably take the limb off myself. Well, I mean, I think everyone goes, at the shoulder. Everyone is that dark, but then everybody acting on dark shit is sure. a completely different thing. I don't give a fuck thing. who you are. You you think fucking bro, if nutty, you, crazy things that fucking even just because you're not supposed to think. That about. means all the people that write these fucked up movies. Fuck yeah, dude. I mean, Human centipede. Like Amari Amo has a pretty good, not, he's got a very good moral compass. And if I was in his head for a fucking day, I'd probably think he was fucking Ted Bundy or something. You know what I mean? You it's, think? Yeah. I mean, it's What not, if you really knew? Oh, fuck. Yeah. What have you been doing? You've been butt fucking out there? <laughs> well, here's like. You'll never know. <laughs> what if everybody knew, though? Like, what if it's one of those, like, blessing in disguise things? Like, you just don't got to worry the, anymore. The, the, everything that goes you on in your just, mind, yeah. fuck. Oh, well, not yeah. yours. I mean, it's how any, I mean, just the thing, because half the time in my mind, I'm like, bip, 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 bip. I mean, so people are like, fuck, he's just an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I, now I'm going to think about what I'm thinking about. 
<laughs> you're not aware of all people. of what you're thinking. Who, the f- who is ever thinking? Go- oh, I just thought about fucking that thing. What am I? Like, I have you ever thought about something and been ashamed? Dude, if you know, if you learn or you actually do like a meditation type practice for a while, mm-hmm. you start noticing the thoughts in your head, really, and not just reacting to them right away. You know, you not even just sitting with the thoughts in your head. Do you fucking notice if they're if they're off the wall or something? Well, yeah. I mean, you're you're I more clear of what's going through your mind compared to just like fucking blacked out. Something uh, fucking. Uh, you, you're not like. You, are you aware of some things that you think about? Uh, sometimes I, I try to be. What's it? It's like it's on my radar. Like I think people should be thinking about what they think about. If it's fucking with your life, it's if it's you know interjecting the things you do day to day. Like I, I, I go fuck. I'm gonna go fucking pound on this. You can't. I go where I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't wait to just go home and jack off again for the fifth <laughs> yeah. time. Just rubbing the skin you know, off. It. Yeah. You know, I mean, if, if the if the thoughts are making you go just fucking do something like that, yeah. I mean, if, if I think about stupid shit all the time, fucking but never do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. How much is it to? How much is too much to pay for a jujitsu membership? I mean, that's different. There's there's jujitsu memberships in in uh, California. They're three hundred dollars, three hundred to four hundred dollars a month. Uh, but jujitsu, it's not a cheap sport. Fuck no. It's not going to be an $80 a month kickboxing cardio class. I mean, this is, it's a serious sport and it takes a lot of. People don't realize the price difference of kickboxing mm. and, and, and boxing and stuff. Jujitsu is yeah. expensive. Uh, so I, too much, I don't know, probably 500 bucks would be too much. It just depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, where you are and what school you're going to for yeah. sure. They say price is only an issue in the absence of value. Ooh, you've been... That's an insurancism right there. Oh, is it? So just, yeah, if it has a value, if you see value in 300 bucks a month, like, yeah, pay 300 bucks a month. That's it's true, man. good training. That's good. Oh, uh, Tim, what are your thoughts on the Professional Grapplers Federation that BMAC is doing with UC? I, I was tuned in. I was been watching a little bit on YouTube in the night. Hopefully it takes off. I mean, it's a good idea, but it looks like they're dropping some serious cheddar to do it. And it's like so on YouTube, there's probably sometimes randomly three, four hundred people watching. So, how many times we'll have you see seen people can... spend a shitload of money on a, on something in this in the sport and just fizzle out? Were you ever fight a part of the IFL uh-huh. when they had the teams? Were you on anyone's team? No, I just super fight. That was pretty cool. That was interesting. They would have these. It, oh, I gotta make sure it was International's Fight League. I'm pretty sure. Was it I IFL yeah. where they had the teams, and you have these teams, and then they they fund your living, and they'd give you two thousand bucks a month. So they all the guys lived in an apartment, or whatever. They'd give you two thousand so, dollars a month, there, so you could just different. train. It was pretty. It was pretty cool well, idea. It, it was. I mean, the, Don Fry was a coach for like people in in, uh, in Tucson, and uh, you remember Seth Pazinski? Yep. The Polish pistol. I mean, it's, I like Seth. He was, he's good. So him and Don were sparring, and he fucking beat Don half to death. I mean, it was the first day of him doing anything. And it, it was, Don, he's, he's getting cracked every shot. And he's like, those are fucking eight ounce gloves. And they're 16s. He's just getting fucking hammered. I mean, it's just, Don, Don's gotten old, you know? It's, it was, I, I really enjoyed that one. Okay, this one here. At what point did you know you were born to be in fighting scene and become a fighter? Probably when I when I was like I'm gonna do this for my life is probably when I got my first paycheck, first pro fight. I made a thousand dollars. They paid for my room, they paid for my food, and I'm like, all right. What show was that? All I think about is fighting. All I think about is martial arts. It was in Tacoma, Washington, called the Emerald Queen Casino. That's what the uh, show was called. It's Cage Sport. Oh. Uh, so that's when I was like, fuck, dude. That's all I think about. I'm going to school to do this bullshit. And my dad was real worried though, because he was never around a fighter who was successful in life all he saw is fighters that are burnt down brain dead fuck poor looking for work so that's going through his mind so i got a lot of flack that's crazy that, that that's what your dad's thought so the fighters that he had what seen, else would he know what else would he know you know i mean it, it's it's such a you know an off the wall thing to want to do for a living that's for that that's yeah most most uh there's not too many fighters you can actually see i mean there's todd foss that your dad solved is that what you got that from yeah i mean other people. Yeah, todd, i mean there's Todd, Todd, Todd was a good boxer. When did you kind of realize you're like, all right, all I'm doing is gonna fight my whole life, like 14, 15? Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew since I was really young. Yeah. What else would you do? No, fuck. Don't say be cop. <laughs> that's uh, that's cop's not I, realistic. I wanted to do it when I retired, but not nothing. I'm not like for money, but yeah, that's like it's when it consumes your fucking every waking thought. It's all you think about to get better. To I mean, it's yeah. I mean, I had that since I was a fucking kid. I mean, I turned pro at sixteen. Fucking. Yeah. How about you, Amari? What if, point? Oh, I still don't think I'm like 
Oh yeah, like he's he's the biggest. Me. He's he's he does not think he's as good as he is. Like he's always it's just still a hobby for you right now. In your, a little bit. To me, it's like it's been the dream that I put on a shelf. So now I'm doing it. So it doesn't. I guess it doesn't feel like a work type thing to me. I just enjoy growing and I'm, you know bettering myself. Like I grew up watching all those kung fu movies. Like this is real life kung fu movie. Like there's yeah. different dojos. You can go train. It's been a whirlwind. It's been so people. fast for him. You know. Yeah. Like he just came in and pff, like that's yeah. fucking like he's. Real close to the UFC in just a short amount of time. Yeah. When all is said and done, I want to be a coach, right? So you know, I want to open up a gym and then like have a fight career where people can look at that and be like, okay, he knows his stuff. But also so I can coach people better. Like if I've been in a championship fight, I can coach someone a little bit better. Maybe Coaching like makes you, fight, you makes know? somebody such a better fighter. I mean, how, how, much, how much better have you gotten since you started coaching? I mean, yeah, not even fucking, yeah. not even close. But dude, if that's if that, you should definitely do that because I think about my job and having my gym and coming in here. I'm like, it's absolute best job in the world. Yeah, I would be doing this if I didn't get paid for it. Still showing up with the buddies. That's that's what I love. I just love practice. Yeah, fucking around with the boys, choking each other out, making it competitive, making it fun. Like, just nothing better. You can tell ever. the guys that want to be there. To the guys that don't, you know, it's, yeah. it's terrible to be around somebody that doesn't want to be there. Well, and you can feel the vibe at a gym too. Sometimes when we, if you go to gyms all over where it's like their focus, you can tell is making money. Yeah. Their focus isn't make these guys really good at these martial arts. That's, that's true. You can, you can get a feel of the gym right when you walk in that motherfucker. What do you, th what to do with parents who won't take any health advice? For example, eating clean or stop drinking Starbucks. I'm like, There's not a fucking thing you can do. I mean, the <laughs> best thing you can do is just lead by example. You do it. it. Let them see how much good energy you have. You're not a toxic person. Let them see how much just like but they, in a they, good they, mood you are. And they're parents. like, damn, why is he always in a good mood? Yeah. At the end of the day, your parents are looking at you like, what does he know? Yeah. I but mean, eventually it's, it's, they'll see like, oh shit, maybe he's on to something. That, that's the only way you can get something because most older people are fucking set in their ways. Yeah, but I mean, with health, it's pretty easy because eventually health is going to be your number one priority. Yep. Eventually, even for these old stubborn fucks. They realize, you know, preventing your body breaking down, it can be prevented by nutrition, man. They, people don't realize that. So I'd love to get your dad, Andy, maybe on like one you know what? Oh, shake a day I wanted, or something. I wanted to Let's talk about that. My dad has COPD, you know that. Like, there's, there's, I was, there's a whole bunch of uh, nutrition that would help me. He, because again, he doesn't listen to a fucking thing I say. He would listen to, to you way more than me. And maybe if we do a simple shake that he really likes, it's just full of nutrients. It'd probably be good for him. Yeah. Okay. How do you decide what I want to do for the rest of my time on this big old rock we call Earth? You boys have made bigger impact than you know. Keep rocking, keep rolling. How do I decide what I want to do for the rest of my time? I mean, bro, I don't. Pff, you got to ask yourself that. No one knows but you. What the fuck would you do if there's no, no no such thing as money? Would you wake up just stare at the wall, or what's something you? That's into? a good way to look at it. Would love to hear your thoughts on the tenth planet style of jujitsu. If you think fighters should keep training in the gi to a minimum, the tenth planet style. I mean, at first when it first came out in this rubber guard shit, people didn't know how to shut it down. It, yeah, was, it was pretty right fucking that, dangerous. Man. Yeah, they didn't know how to deal with it. But now it's like you you start putting that rubber guard on in a fight. It's just a stalling position, and you're gonna have to open up and do something else. And anymore, unless you got the right body style, ha that, having a, fuck yeah. I mean, it's, I think it's important to have a, a, a good guard at some point. You need to develop a, some sort of guard where you can fight from your back and not just always turtle up and get your back taken. But uh, tall, skinny guys, lanky guys, flexible legs, those guys are going to have the dangerous guard. You throw one wrong punch on top and they're tying you up in something. Fuck yeah. What uh, do you think of gi jiu-jitsu training for MMA? I was talking to Sugar about this too. I'm like, I feel like if you look at it, don't just be like, okay, I'm training for MMA. I'm going gi. It's a completely different sport. It makes your mind work in a different way. Okay. But also, the grips, dude. Come train in the gi. Actually, train in the gi for two, three days. Your forearms and your grip strength, you, your hands will be fucking shot. And when you're fighting hands and you're doing cross grips in MMA, I think that strong, strong grips pays off. You go with a good jujitsu black belt, you can feel their grips are mm -hmm. fucking okay. freakishly strong. <clears throat> so I think, yeah. I mean, if you like to, but if you don't, then you don't. I mean, I, I, th really, I, I think it's good. It. I think it's good. I, th I think it's when people are first starting to learn how to fight. This is a, like in, in the, my gym in Montana. I was te teaching jiu-jitsu, just gi -less. You have to learn gi to when you first learn jiu-jitsu. You, you can't. It's, it's so, so, I mean, you, you can, but it takes triple the time. Well, and in the gi, it's been around for so long. And I have this curriculum from Takino that him and his brother made up for years and years ago on the progression of what to teach people. And a lot of it's in the gi. They don't really have, 
I've never really seen a good crit kill him like that for for uh, no gi. But I, like I said, too, if you come in and train in the gi, don't come in and be like, oh, yeah, man, I got submitted. But whatever. If there was punches, I'd fuck you up. Or oh, just go in there yeah. thinking about different advantages and points and how do you score in jujitsu? Because the scoring system's good. They reward you for good positions. They reward you for passing the guard. They reward you for being in half guard. They reward you for mount and the back and all positions in fighting where you're beating on somebody. Yeah. Um, have you have you you have you not been doing jiu-jitsu yet? Not, not in gi jiu-jitsu. That's no. the one thing you need to do. You need to get better. You need to start yeah. working on for sure. I think it'd be I think it'd be fun. You're always it, welcome, it, welcome it, to come in and have some fun and roll. You'll have be a awesome, ball. You'll have, you'll have a good time with it. Any advice for fighters trying to compete at a later age? Diet, recovery, and such. Define later age. What would you consider? God damn it! I would just I would just be like, why? If someone was coming to me and they're like thirty seven and they're like, I'm really wanting to get a fight and they're oh, already, brand and new they're, and their body's already beat down, I'm like, well, I mean, maybe your goal could be get one amateur fight just to get the feelings, get the emotions of it, but to make a career of it, probably like, not. Like Stephanie, like remember that that uh, that old bird in yep. Montana? Like she came in, there was Stephanie's forty seven, right? Isn't that right? She's forty seven. Think so. She came in and scrapped, right? Dude, she'll Dude. Dude, she'll have the the most exciting fights in the card. She'll sit there and just slug it out. But she, but her son came and signed up, and then he was training. And she said, oh, "How much for me to join?" And then she joined. Then never had done anything. Never, never, no, no, no combat sports at all. No, nothing. And then she's. She's uh, yeah, fighting and she actually turned pro. So something like that, like where it's going to turn a lady's life around, it's going to put her on a good journey. And she used to be an addict. I mean, have, have, mm. have realistic, realistic expectations. Don't think you're going to be a fucking, you know, world champion, a hall of famer. Just, just be okay with getting in there and, and be the, be one of the few people that's actually can say they fought. You and, know? And, and just have fun and improving okay. in the martial arts hundred um, percent. But diet recovery, it's like, dude, no matter what age you're at, even the young bucks, you should be looking into how to feel your body good. Eat, yeah. the, eat the right things and sleep good. Like Whatever you're doing in your life, if you have good sleep dialed in at an early age, your brain's going to be healthier. Your body's going to be healthier. You're going to be more creative. You're going to be able to do things that are going to make you way more money than just treating your body like shit. God. No matter what age. That's fucking true. Uh, okay, would you rather fuck a dude that was a body God of the girl... <laughs> But a wiener or a girl that has the body of a man. But fuck his dick hole? Beard, beard, hairy chest, but has a vagina. Read it again. Would you rather fuck a dude that has the body (laughs) of the girl? Sexy woman. Like a tranny. But a little wiener wiener on him. Or a girl that has the body of a man, hairy chested beard, but has a vagina. A fucking girl that has a hairy body. Fucking, it's a woman. You know? So you're making out with this guy with a beard, fuck chest. Yes, I, I would. I mean, if if you're actually fucking a man, you know, dipping you, I I could. There's some fucking. But uh, if she had her little wiener tucked up, you didn't even see it. But it's a hot woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. what do you do? You do you do paint a good picture with that. One. Fucking, so uh, what do you do? I I fuck it. I'd go at the. I'd go I'd at fuck the, it. <laughs> Okay, next question. Like they look the same with the lights off, but they don't feel the same. Yeah, dude, there's <laughs> the no. I, I, my fear of drag queens would just fucking get me fucking worked up. Like I, I think he was on to something. Started beating him to death right yeah. there. That's terrible. Okay, if your mom and your girlfriend swap, well, God, well, you guys, these fucking guys. sick fucks. I know. Fuck. Would you rather peel your dickhead like a fucking? <laughs> God damn it, boys! Head of the dump here. Okay. God, this is getting real bad. Hold on. Follow Phil or how long? Guys, we all filling up. Get that one. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Timbo, do you have any future plans to compete in BJJ? I, I mean, yeah, I fucking do. I still want to do Nogi Worlds. I want to do Nogi Worlds every fucking year. You're gonna fight every again. chance I can do the the trials and stuff. I'd like to do them. But also, I'm like at this point, when I get hurt doing dumb shit. I'm just like, I just want to train with my students. I just want to make my students get better. The instructors here, I want to t- keep training with them and make them better. That's where I get my biggest joy. Yeah, competing is fun. It is a good time, and I love challenging myself. I do feel get, like I grow from every tournament I train for. Do you, do you get more out of one of your students winning or are you winning? I mean, the students that have been with me now, it's like seeing them win and seeing how hard they train, how disciplined they are, and it all come together. It's fucking, I love it. I love it. Yeah, do, You don't... Have you? You haven't. I know. I know you. You. You've retired, but you. You. You're gonna fight again, right? I. I, you, I, I, mean, I can't what? see you never fighting again. Just one. 
Nothing, not for money, just just to get in there and dust one off again. Just, yeah, depends who it was. If it's someone interesting, it's I'm like, right I'd fight. love to beat the fuck out of this guy. Like a, like someone you're actually angry with? Maybe maybe little Peter Yon's little coach there that was calling me out, or maybe like a a Dylan Dennis, maybe like something where it's like, all right, let's get ready for this. That this could, is gonna that be sweet. Really not like, happen. hey, you want another little fight? Yeah, I could. I mean, fuck, honestly, I mean, it's a. Uh, I mean, how when, how old do you, you were like 28, 27 your last yeah. fight? Fuck, that's fucking that's a, that's a, that's that's a lot of time. I mean, I mean, it's a, the best thing you did is just start coaching, but fucking still letting go of that is hard. Yeah, I mean, I still get to compete hard in the room too, and that makes me feel good. Me feel You're good. not having any problems with your Achilles? No, five about five months post surgery, and I was rolling full speed, scrambling. I mean, wow. I still have trouble blasting off it in double legs. Let me see it again. Let, is it is, it is it puffed up still? The guy, God, yeah. The guy says it's gonna be. Looks like a, like a kink in a hose. Puff for a while. It's a thick Achilles now, though, dude. The Just confidence the, there. Feel confident. Not there? quite, not quite, but I, I mean, in jiu-jitsu, it's always in the back of my mind, not yeah. planting off it and blasting. It off looked it. like you were pushing off it that one, the the day when I was here with Brady. Uh, I look, I mean, that that's what pushed off that hard. That's what fucking folded my stick up. Yeah, but. Like I said, it happened on the basketball court. It didn't happen on these soft mats. Did you see it? You, no, I, 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 I thought I showed you. No, no. I think it, you showed me like a picture of like your Achilles or something. Oh, like I showed you the like, surgery. Huh? Yeah, the surgery. Yeah, that 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 haunted me. That how how fucking. Joe's like, I saw this, so you have to see this. He started showing everything. Well, when 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 because uh, when when he when it happened, Tim was like, he goes, oh, I not even you wouldn't think a bad injury like that, but Sean heard it and everybody else, everybody there heard it snap. What are the pros and cons of owning a business? Um, I mean, if I didn't have Mariah, my business would be way more of a nightmare for me. She takes care of everything. I just have to show up here with good energy and teach good shit and make my students win. That's all I have to do. If I didn't have a Mariah helping with all that back stuff, I'd have to try to find a GM, some sort of GM that I trust. And Is Mariah be, the GM pretty much? Yeah. She, I mean, she takes sure. care of everything. Um, pros? Bro, the amount of money you can make is unlimited. It's not like, okay, here's your $60,000 salary for the rest of your life. Here you go. Budget as you need. Oh, that's and the freedom. Normal. The freedom's a big, a big mm -hmm. one. I, I couldn't imagine working a job, you know, where you're getting told what to do. You can't, you have, yeah, fucking. Well, thankful for some that. of these teachers, dude. These teachers, I'm like, the salary they get, how do you even get, I mean, that's getting fucking buy how, how what does the teacher make here in arizona starting like 58? what's the average salary of a teacher in arizona starting 50 the average salary for a school teacher in arizona is forty nine thousand dollars per year we that's less than i was gonna guess I was Dude, that like that 60, is that 70. is fucking deep that's, that's deep into pot uh, like, like into that's the lower class that's that i mean that's fucking nuts. so you're making so you're making four thousand a month the high end is making eighty, so that's probably if you've been working for how maybe, okay, a, maybe a principal or something. How the fuck are you? I mean, okay, food. I mean, if you have a family, it's just because because there's there's been teachers that said that's been the sole the, the sole the provider for the family. They've taken care of a family on income like that. I don't understand. But you're supposed to pay a mortgage. You're supposed yeah, to pay mortgage a car, your car, a car your insurance, food. I mean, fucking phone bill. Just dude, I mean, just off of bills, not in, in, from my home, and, and I mean, it's ten thousand dollars a month just I mean for food and stuff. I mean, that's the opportunity that YouTube gives people, though. Teachers, if you're a teacher and you can be creative somehow and put out good quality content, that, that having a, your own YouTube that's popping is like your own business. I was telling, I was gonna... telling somebody about your Snapchat. That my son, I was telling, and uh, he he was blown away that he didn't think it, that that Snapchat paid money. Yep. And then there, there's not a lot in the program, though. They're in the paid program. What do you mean? Not too many people that are getting paid from it. I think 600 people. Oh no shit. That are in the paid program. No kidding. I'm sure it's grow it grows slowly, but uh, sure, no. any of these things are fucking businesses. If you can be creative and not worry about what people think, all the social media, YouTube, that stuff can give a lot of people freedom. Yeah, everything is different. I mean, the, uh, promoting something before, I mean, it's now, I mean, 10 years ago, doing something like that, everything would be, it was different. Now it's all done by social media and stuff like that. Dream vacation. Money is not a concern. Dude, there's some places up. in Thailand. I mean, actually, no, fucking like Italy, Italy. There's... Epstein's Island. <laughs> Was that the Virgin too Islands? Too like, yeah, the, no, but um, Italy, fucking like Morocco. That's fine. That's what there. everyone says. Italy's fucking awesome. So I don't. I've never even thought of vacation. No, I don't know. you, you never. What, when was the last time you went on vacation? 
I feel like Abu Dhabi when we went to That's Dubai. That was a vacation. Cool. We were there for three weeks. Like, were you there for three weeks? Getting treated like, like a king. It was. It was. Dude, it felt like a vacation. You, you don't. You don't see any fucking any graffiti, any fucking poverty. No. Hell no. No. No crime. Do you know? You know other world leaders. They go to. The, they go to the the the, the 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 president of fucking whatever whatever he is the for advice. Because uh-huh. I mean, look at look what he done. I mean, he's fucking their country runs like a Swiss watch, man. Wow. How about this one? How much evidence would you need to be convinced that God's real, specifically in the sense of Christianity and its teachings? Personal miracle, like examples, like personal miracle, public consensus, wisdom, historical evidence, and spiritual sense. Personally, no matter the evidence, some level of faith is required to believe in the supernatural. Example, e.g., whatever example means. God comes down from the sky, says, I'm real, leaves you, and asks yourself, what was that? Was that a hallucination? And would you be okay with your daughter's part partner having relations outside of their relationship? No. I would I would advise her no. Because I mean, in actuality, I mean, how many actually work and, and how, how you're working? You know? Yeah, unless you're in a religion like Mormonism where that's their beliefs, then you could see how they would make it work, but in a... In a in this day and age, it's like you like that. Like that works for you, Mariah. You know, and you guys talked about it. it wasn't something that you guys. She doesn't into. have relationships. Outside. No, no, I'm saying just for you. You know, fucking. <laughs> I don't have still relationships. They're, they're not just talking about pumping. No, he's talking about relationships. Oh, right? fucking! You, that's ridiculous. Um, but how much evidence would you need to be convinced that God's real, specifically in the sense of Christianity and His teaching, for me to be convinced? Yeah, it would have to be something. Just crazy. I mean, people say it's like, that. People there's say just that. such smart people out there that don't agree. Mm-hmm. Like very smart, and they'll come with you the research why, and then the people that do agree will come with you with the research why. It's like there, there is there's examples that, that you can take from the Bible and that, for that you take as proof. But I mean, it's it's something, you know, something profound happening in your life that makes you have turn faith. To that. Yeah, for sure. Have faith. Yeah, that's kind of how it's been for me. Just like, because I was not raised religious, that's just kind of something that I've just recently gotten more into, but it's because of like, I would see examples of people who are living the lifestyle that I want to live. Well, they were always giving glory to God. I was like, that's hey, there's exact, something there, you know? Actually, the, the, the death so, of Christianity is going to be the death of the West. That's uh, for sure. That, like the people's morals and stuff. You just forget it. Forget if you don't believe in God or whatever, but the morals of Christianity or Judeo-Christian values, what that brings <clears throat> is something different. And what they're doing now, you see that's how they're trying to wash all that stuff away. Can People, you learn those morals without it? Oh, of course. But it, but it, like the secular, the, the, the nuclear family, all that stuff, you know, there's things that you get from that. But I mean, of course, if, if you're disciplined and have a des- desire to do that, but when you take, it starts from the family, rare, rare people like Amari, you know, they, they be, yeah, later on in life, you know, I mean, not rare. It happens quite a bit, but I mean, it could, you, you guys have seen all, all the things that like five, 10 years ago would be fucking not allowed people to yeah. do it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the, uh, the people who act like that it happens. It's another 10 years. This country's going to be fucking done. That's yeah. what everyone's saying. Yeah, the amount of times I'm looking around, I'm like people need Jesus, it's dude. Just, I mean, because you, again, you just he, he just said exactly there. Now. He looks at people that live their life like that, yeah. and that's what he wants. That's the kind of life he wants. And yeah. then I mean, they're good people. I mean, there's, but that's uh, not always. No, no, gosh, I mean, yeah, I, for example, you and you and Sean don't live like that. I'm not saying you, you guys are you guys are, are spiritual people, but you guys aren't aren't you guys aren't. We don't. Christians. I mean, right now it's not like give glory to God. It's like you know what I give glory to is my good habits and helping the people around me, yeah. ca- caring about my body eating good, caring about myself, caring about the relationships around me, spreading a good message. That's what I give yeah. more of my glory to than God. For sure. I mean, it's in, but it definitely could be from him. I don't know. I, I don't know. They're very well. Tim, Tim's be. a rare, rare person. Like in terms of how people think about faith and like mm-hmm. Tim is, he's like in the middle waiting for, waiting for someone to, you know, him to see, you know, convincing evidence or feeling of which way he wants to, wants to put his hat on. You know? But that's it's, what I'm saying. Also, if God's know. looking down and he sees like, he's not going to be like, Oh, he's not, he's not going to the church on Sunday. The he more, ain't going to the, the yeah. good, good place. I ask myself things like that. And, and more, I, I, I just fucking confuse myself because yeah. you, you'll start doubting things, this and that. Yeah. I just, you know, just keep, keep doing, just keep, I mean, if you're, if you're religious, I mean, just do what makes you happy if it's good stuff, I man. Yeah. And that's just be thing. open-minded to learn and bring in new info and not just be so stuck in, on your, yes. pro, your programming that you got. 
that with 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 uh you know with religion and politics man there's people that just fucking are not open-minded to shit yeah can you be too open-minded though Oh, of course. Like in what? Like gold. Persuade So like, I don't know. Like, not to get like political or anything like no, no. that. No, no. Let's, let's get. Go down the, <laughs> let's do it. Joe's gonna go Pull down the TikTok rabbit hole. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like in college, like with the whole like safe spaces and kind of like the whole left thing. It's like, I, okay, so like I had to have an open mind to that. You know what I mean? They're like, hey, be open to, I guess like the you know again no stance taken but like the trans movement and the safe spaces like like you got to be open to it but at some point like i think now culturally there yeah, some people are drawing a line they're saying all right i'm not open sure. to pass this point you gotta well, be a little closed off like i don't give yeah. a shit what what somebody if somebody believes they're a man or a woman they're not do what you want fucking you know but don't fucking don't don't roll into my gym with a beard and lipstick on expect to go <laughs> yeah. in the girls locker well, don't with make all these me girls. make me change it my fucking my pronoun fucking game just to just to get you know the, all that shit say hers oh fuck you got a beard i'm not calling you a woman you know i, I don't i don't like that but, but i mean it's i mean uh, amari amari he he fucking he had a, a brief kind of romantic encounter with the tranny when he was in college really yeah <laughs> and you didn't know <laughs> yeah didn't like, know. You no. flop that ding. You think anybody that has never found out about that? What? what do you mean? If someone was fucking the tranny and they, the tranny's telling them that they're a woman, they they they're oh their no, you, you go wet. try to rub the you rub the clitoris a bit and it ain't there, then you know <laughs> that's fucking that's bad. Well, um, Joe's fingers they don't really have feeling in them. It looks like oh yeah, those fucking. You know? What do you mean they look like? What the fuck does that mean? Go like search something on your phone for this so we can see something. <laughs> I want you to Google something. His buttons yeah. are, are expanded. He's one of these guys. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, what the fuck's wrong with them, dickhead? I don't want to make jokes. No, 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 no. no. Make it, my daughter said I have digital clubbing the other day. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, your daughter, I think, is pretty smart. Really? So, digital you, clubbing? You know what digital clubbing is, Tim. You bring it up every pod. Yeah, so, oh, I don't know what that is, actually. I thought okay, it was just okay. your fingers look like giant caveman clubs. Yeah, yeah. it pretty much is. <laughs> Fucking assholes. I beat a bug. Who's that? My little dog. She's a, she's the dog that he was trained to attack her. Watch, she'll bite Garrett right here. Who is that? Is that Beetle? Yeah. Oh. That is Beetle Bug. Okay, how about this? Best advice for a wrestler transiting, transitioning to uh, BJJ. I mean, the pace is going to slow down a bit. I Right off the rip, though, start learn, asking your professor how to defend guillotines when you get in a single leg and they grab your yeah, neck. When yes. you get a high crotch, move into the double leg. Get flaring their legs to the right side when you do, do a double leg. As soon as someone grabs your neck, kind of knowing where your lower body needs to go. That's a good fucking point. It's a, how to, how to, which side to go off a guillotine, which, lay, which, which side to go off a double leg. You know, not yeah. just going to the guard. That's a good point. Yeah, and then uh, just learn the positions. Start developing a little bit of a guard. Develop a half guard, develop a full guard, develop kind of an open guard where you can maintain your guard, where your main focus isn't your only chance you get a wrestle up. Because good black belts will shut down a wrestle up real quick. Uh, Hugo, thoughts on asking check chicks out while they're at work? Waitress, cashiers, baristas. Like the actual act of saying it? Asking them out. Maybe you could just maybe compliment them and say, uh, maybe give them a little compliment, maybe. I think the workplace is the work. I think you just leave it there. <laughs> but uh, what's wrong with going to a girl? You think it's ever going to really rub a girl the wrong way if you say, hey, Fuck no. you look really nice in that dress or you, you your hair looks really nice. If or they're, if they're, they're, if they're gonna... into you, absolutely not. <laughs> but if, but they're... if they're not, well, will, will it still make them feel bad? No, the, the fucking, they, they could use being at work as a, as a way to fucking, as, as a reason for the rejection when, when it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking, the, the, yeah, the work's a, a tricky thing. It is, but I mean, still, if it's like, I just still, don't. I'd up. still shoot your shot. I mean, right? Or maybe your Instagram. You lived. Or, Tim's lived your life like that. Just shoot that shot. Just shoot it. Who cares if you get fucking shot down? Everyone's just <laughs> so scared of getting shot down. Just get Dude, shot that, down that, more. That's a fucking terrifying thought. I, I couldn't imagine being single and hey, fucking she goes, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what are you dick. even looking at? Yeah. What are you? Who the fuck are <laughs> what you? What are you looking yeah. at? What's wrong with your nose? Uh, I'm, Oh God! <laughs> Fuck! I couldn't take that kind of rejection. Um, okay. I'd slam the shit out of her. I'm just kidding. Well, at work. How was your time? How was your time in Portland, Oregon? I fucking learned a lot in Oregon, and at the time, I really liked it. I lived in a place with a guy named Pat Healy for a while. We lived in Eagle Creek, it was called, and it was this like beautiful landscape with creeks and just deep forest. Then we'd go to Team Quest and train. And at the time. Cool. Matt Lindland was training there, and he was Olympic silver medalist, and he was running practice. Chael was there. Yushin Okami was there. Sometimes Rick Story was there, Mike Pierce, and the Healy brothers. There I was learned, that I learned, people at one time. Damn. I learned so much for my training in 
in Oregon. A lot of it was wrestling based, so they didn't mind sitting in your garden beating on you. They weren't really uh, they didn't really want you to pass the guard. They wouldn't mind sitting in the garden beating on you. And I learned a lot of ways to get up. Learned a lot of good wrestling shit there. And then I lived with Robert Fallis. And the, he's the one who really made me passionate about being wanting to be a good coach. He read books. He was a smart guy. I saw him eating healthy. I thought I was interested in that. And uh, the way he coached people was so good. So I learned so much from Portland, and I really loved it. And I wanted to move there until Mariah moved here. And I knew Benson Henderson was the champion at the time. And the first day I came down, I sparred him. I got to spar him. So I was like, damn, I need to be down here. He's the champ. I want to be around him as much as I can. Yeah. So you went to Portland just for a fight camp for the first time? Uh, Training. I think three, three different fight camps. Cool. You lived uh, there? Yeah, I lived there with Pat Healy for a few months. And then I'd come back for like a week to Montana, go back to Oregon, go back and forth. What year was this? It was, uh, I was 21. Oh, that was, I was back before it turned to fucking decay. I mean, it's Portland's. I, I, it's one of my favorite cities, and not now. I mean, there used to be a. It used to be a real mecca of training. A lot of animals yeah. there. Still is a. I mean, at that American Top Team with Fabiano Scherner, he still got some decent athletes. Uh, okay, here we go. Why are there so many lesbians in female MMA? Um, hottest current woman's UFC fighter. I think that Alex Grasso. She's really pretty. She's just naturally pretty. No makeup. You can tell she doesn't really try, and she's just really pretty. I could. She's awesome. like the adorable one. Like you, like she just looks adorable. Yeah, yeah. I only know how adorable that is. Huh? Uh, why are there so many lesbians? I don't know. I mean, it's a good question. Because it's a fucking a rough sport. Most lesbians are kind of tomboys. Mm -hmm. Not most, but a lot of them. Um, this is that this is a long one here. Long one here. I'll skip that. Have your rigs ever dislocated arm or finger, et cetera, during practice, match or practice? Yep. I never have. Oh. I've never dislocated anything. I mean, I've fingers? No. My fingers are Dude, good. the finger, fingers. So I had I had a compound dislocated my on my fingers. I, I, I was wrestling and I fell back to brace myself, and my fingers were all, three of these fingers were turned sideways. Oh. And, I, and, and to the point where the bone was coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn it. All right. What's one thing you'd tell your younger self, knowing what you know now, Joe? Don't ever take painkillers. Think that took a real toll on you? It's just a fucking tough fight to be in, you know, just to get back to where you were before, you know. What would you sell your seventeen-year-old self, Amari? Do the things that scare you. Yeah. Good one. Jacob says, seeing Ryan Garcia create a heightened false narrative and persuade Vegas and the public to seriously underestimate him, it makes me wonder how much perception can influence expectations going into that fight. This has been a theme in Sugar's career, but has there been a time in each of your careers where this may help have helped or hurt you preparing for a fight? Maybe people in the past figured you would just be a brawler underprepared, or maybe you understood it. That's a long one, Jacob. A lot of questions in that one. But Ryan Garcia selling that false narrative, if that was, I, I did, he I, still could be just fucking off his ringer and he could just. Yeah. It's hard to know. It's, yeah, it's hard to actually know the truth. It's easy to say, yeah, that was all false. I was acting crazy just because. But it's like, were you? If you were, that's pretty fucking impressive, though. Real crazy is hard to fucking, hard to, hard to fake. Yeah, he was doing good with it, too. <laughs> I know. So, I know. Yeah. That's why I'm like. We'll see. If it happens tonight, tomorrow night, like, all right. I started to pay attention when he started bringing up uh, Sean. He's talking about fighting Sean. Yeah. yeah. And that's what, then he's, he's just fucking losing his mind. What's the worst household chore? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Brother. Do you think he should, st he should have like kept going with it instead of like saying that he was faking it? Do you think he should have just like kept the character rolling? But yeah. Why not? Yeah. Now they know if he, he does it next time and it's just. It's fake. Yeah. It's fake. That sucks. Yeah. That's I think, why I think, I think it wasn't fake. Yeah, so I, I still it, think that I think he'd get drunk. Yeah. He'd start these TikToks. He'd do these things. Yeah. He admitted he would drink during camp. Uh, how much did he say he was drinking? I don't know. There wasn't that much. You know, alcoholics that. lie about that shit. Yeah, but still, he fucking held up for twelve rounds. Fuck yeah. Worst household chore to do? Unclogging a fucking toilet. Big old steamer in there. <laughs> My dad clogged the toilet last night. I was in there wrangling turds. Oh. And his shit just smells fucking horrible. <laughs> oh. And he's sitting outside. Come on, I got a shit. I'm, I'm like, because he tried, he tried to flush it. He just, he a courtesy flush. I don't know what, he, but it just, he had to shit. He, it's, if a toilet's fly, like, uh, clogged. There he is. Take it out, Shane. Take out my watch. <laughs> if, if my dad will, my dad will shit in a clogged toilet. 
Take shit because he's a lazy he's, he's a lazy man. He's like, I'll push it down with this one. It'll and work. You, you know, to be honest with you, I found so so my son, my dad clogged my son's bathroom. My dad clogged all uh, my Lisa and I, mine's bathroom, the the Jaden's bathroom and Joey's bathroom all at once. Not one, but he went one to the next. So they were all clogged, and then so uh, uh, my, I unclogged the other ones. But Joey went in his bathroom, was just shitting on top of the shit, and I went in there and I was just a gas. I, said, I couldn't funny. fucking believe it. I used I, to hate fucking shoveling snow, dude. I'm like, I fucking uh, hate that. I was throwing myself the snow around in there, <laughs> fucking crying. I hate my fucking dad. Fucking fit. Did you really? <laughs> did you ever tell your dad you hated him to his no, face? No. Fuck. Um, what was going through Diesel Riggs' head when Tomato Man shoved the tomato in his face? We gotta tie it up here in a minute. I gotta teach this class in five minutes. But fuck, we didn't even get cl close to half the questions. No, dude, that was the that tomato thing. Fuck, was the that, I've never been that angry in my life. That spilled over into the fight. I was so angry, squealing when you threw your fucking, fucking two three. <laughs> I didn't even throw that. I, I it was it was fucking terrible. Fucking that guy was that he was the. Biggest, he was the most racist motherfucker. Would say the most racist thing on the really? radio. Fuck honky. Oh, fucking horrible. And then, and I, I would, I would, I would say if I said anything, that'd be fucking done. And and, and everybody just they. And then you whisper. <laughs> <laughs> just, jokes, uh -huh. just jokes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for watching. Where can we follow you on uh Instagram, Amari? Amari underscore Sang S E N G S E N G Amari yeah. underscore S E N G. Joe Riggs. <laughs> and you, and you, you can, can find his Facebook page. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> all politics. All talk, talk of politics. Fucking the Rage of Cajun. <laughs> find Joe on the Black <laughs> Web or whatever it's called, <laughs> Dark Web. Yeah, the Black you. Web, you motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hit that like and subscribe button. And every week, remember, we have a confidential pod that comes out on Saturday. And we can go a lot more into details on things because it's confidential. Patreon only. And you get a bunch of other things on there. You get 35% uh, off thorn supplements. Uh, you get discount on merch. You get all sorts of stuff. So thanks for watching. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Amari. Thank we'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye-bye.